Hi, my name is Yusuf with Key Performance Ideas, and today I'm going to be talking about the uh, about scheduling jobs, and to do that uh, using the simplified interface. First off, I'm going to go to the application here. Then I'm going to be going to the jobs option and uh, schedule jobs. As you can see here, there are many options where you can schedule a job. Uh, first. Uh, there are rules where you can run different business rules. You can import and export data and metadata, uh, uh, scheduling this job here. But uh, beforehand, uh, you would have to create the actual job before you schedule it. And this is uh, this is pertaining to all of these uh, options here. So uh, after that, we same goes with the refresh database as well as the uh, cube mapping, where you move uh, data from one client type to another. Uh, you can also run invalid intersection reports uh, as a job if uh, you wish to do so. Uh, you can also uh, clear a cube uh, entirely. And I haven't seen people uh, or clients uh, use this as a as a scheduler, but rather just a run now uh, kind of thing where they uh, just want to clear the cube at the moment. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, before you schedule the job, you actually have to create them. And today I'm going to be going through the uh, refresh database uh, job and as well as uh, scheduling it for a uh, certain frequency where I want it uh, to be going uh, either daily, monthly, uh, yearly, uh, and so forth. And you can uh, you can put an end date to that, and you can uh, you know set whatever time uh, time zone you want this to start, and as well as name that job. So uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to, be going to the uh, to uh, run the refresh uh, database job. So before that, as I said, you have to create the actual job for scheduling it. Just go to overview, set of jobs, and then uh, you go to actions. And then as you can see, a lot of the options that we saw beforehand in jobs are found right here. So you can import, export data. Uh, you know, these jobs are created right here. You can uh, refresh the database as well as clear the queue. And these are also jobs that you have to uh, create. I know there was more optionality in jobs rather uh, than all of these here. The other uh, couple or three uh, job options are found in under data management, uh, migration, and uh, I, uh, I think settings for invalid uh, intersections report. But today, like I said, I'm just going to be going through refresh database. I'm going through that. As you can see here, there are uh, different jobs that have already been created uh, by myself and by uh, my colleague. So I'm just going to create another one for uh, this demo's purposes. Uh, so before, you have the option here to uh, enable users uh, to keep using the application before and after, uh, before and or after the uh, refresh has been completed. You want to log off all your users and, or you want to stop active users uh, requests. So I'm just going to keep it as default here. And you can uh, keep in mind that you can also run this right now as a refresh database uh, job without actually going to the scheduler. So you can do that right here. Uh, I'm going to save this as a job. It's going to ask me for what the name is. I'm just going to call it uh, Yusuf, Yusuf's demo job. I'm going to save it. And close this. It's not showing right now because I need to refresh that. So refreshed. And now here there's a, a USIPS demo job that I had just created. Uh, as you can see, I can submit it right now and delete it. Submit it just means that it will run this job at this moment, real time. So I'm going to close this right now and go to my job scheduler. And then I'm going to schedule this job uh, using the refresh database option here. Uh, and I want to schedule it to run tomorrow on a Saturday where no one is uh, working. Uh, that time, sure, let's set that time and uh, let's call it uh, refresh on weekend. And then uh, I just want to run this a, a one-time run. So it's just going to run once tomorrow on a Saturday uh, where I'm sure that no one is, uh, you know, in the office. So uh, after that, 
click Next. It's going to ask me which job that I want uh, to use. Keep in mind, remember I told you guys that uh, you have to create the job before you schedule it, and this is where uh, all the jobs show up. So uh, my final one that I just created with you guys is a use of STEMO job. Make sure you select this uh, check mark here to make sure that it is selected. Go to Next, and it will just show you a review of what one this is supposed to run, uh, what time, job name, and so forth. Click on Finish. Now uh, it's scheduled to run uh, tomorrow at 4:10 uh, p.m. Central Time. So this is how you run uh, jobs using uh, the simplified interface. Uh, thank you for listening. And again, this is Yusuf from Key Performance Ideas. Thanks a lot.